Hi guys, welcome to the channel, I'm Steve. So, this week's video, a wee bit different. I'm gonna just go through some of the highs and lows, the positives, negatives. Um, I've been in Spain for almost two months now, and just to give you an idea of how I'm feeling and how things are going. I was gonna do this video outside, but um, you know the flies that make the loud noise, they were going crazy. And then there's a place next door with kids in the pool and they're going crazy. So I've just come in, I've come in, I'm going to do it here. I haven't done a video from inside in a while. So this is going to feel a bit strange sitting in front of the camera like this. Anyway, so let's get on with it. Right? So <laughs> I'm going to start off with a really weird one. Now, my hair is growing white er, at an accelerated pace. In fact, it's nearly white, grey, grey, white. No, 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 <laughs> I've been going back for a long time. Since I've got to Spain, I'm out every day in the sun. I sit at the pool four or five times, not for long periods of time, but I'm convinced my hair is, ex is growing white at an accelerated pace. Does anyone know, does your hair go whiter in the sun, grayer in the sun? And does having a suntan affect it? Does it make it look whiter because my hair is suddenly white? Right? No, nah, that's only a joke. That's not the bit that the video is about. But while I'm on that subject, Got my eye fixed as well. So there's, there's a negative and a positive. My eye got sorted the other day. I got my laser done on it and it's fantastic. So that's all good. Right, so let's get into the, the things that I'm enjoying, the things that I'm not, the highs and lows, positives and minus of me so far and what I think of me living in Spain. And remember, everything that I say, it's just my opinion, how I feel about it. Number one, no particular order. None of this is in any order, actually. I haven't wrote anything down or anything. It's just thoughts that are in my head. All right. So the first thing I've already mentioned a wee bit, and it's a negative, and it's the fly that makes the noise. During the day, it would drive you crazy. It's never ending. It goes on and on and on and on all day. Um, it doesn't have, doesn't do it at night, thank you. If it did it at night, it would really go mad. But when you're out at the pool or walking the dogs, it's just a constant loud buzz in your ears. And it is driving me a wee bit mad. I'm, I've never heard anyone complain about it before. I <laughs> don't hear anyone here complaining about it. But it's just doing my head in. Maybe you'd hear it better if I climbed up there. Yeah, I'll have a go. One eternity later. <laughs> <laughs> now you didn't really think I just climbed that tree, did you? <laughs> it's once you notice, once you start noticing it, it's just like non-stop, very loud noise. In saying that, I have noticed over the last about the last two weeks, I'm starting to forget about it. So I'm probably going to get used to it, right? So that's a that's a negative. Right. So positive department. I mean. Um, I said it in a couple of videos, been very lucky, it's a great apartment, I'm up nice and high, I've got a great view over Guardamar, um, no problems with the dogs barking or anything like that, so the apartment's worked out really, really well, swim put, now there's a big lesson learned for me with the swim put, whenever I came initially, and even whenever I, I've been looking over the years at apartments in Thailand, I um, have said to myself at times I could do without a pool, and the very first apartment I looked at in Mercia didn't have a pool and I was willing to take that apartment and then it didn't happen and then I got this one with the pool and boy am I glad, big lesson learned. I go to the pool every three, four hours. If I'm in the apartment, I, I then take a dander down, have a swim, sit in the sun for 10, 15 minutes and do a bit of reading and I love the pool. So that's a lesson learned. Never, ever, ever when I go to a hot country, ever 
will I go somewhere that isn't put on a holiday? I would never dream of doing it. But I thought I'm going to live here and you just get used to it. But no, no, need the pool. And it also gives you that nice feeling, you know, go down in the pool. I get up in the morning, walk the dog, feed and walk the dogs, come in, and before I have my coffee, I go down and have a swim, and it's just nothing as nice. So a negative would be similar to when I was traveling around the van, around Europe. I didn't imagine when I came to Spain that I wouldn't meet anyone that speaks English, but very, very few people speak English. No one in shops, no one in, in, in hardly any of the restaurants I've been in or anything like that. I went to a couple, a couple of Irish restaurants and a couple of English and Irish bars, um, and that's good, you can have a wee chat with people, but um, everywhere else, nobody speaks English. And um, I hadn't really thought through, I mean, I was younger whenever we used to go to Spain every year and you're on, you're right at the front in resorts and practically everyone that was there was of an, another nationality, English, Irish, German, and um, you never thought about Spanish people on their holidays, but um, everyone that I meet is are Spanish people on their holidays, the people, most of the people staying in this apartment. These apartments, I think, are about one third of people who rent full time and then you just see other people coming and going, the people next door to me went today. So yeah, that's been difficult. I'm still in that situation that I was in in the van where not a lot of conversations to be had, you know? And I'm not somebody for going and joining things, you know, I'm not the sort of person who would purposely go and join some group just to meet someone to talk to. Um, and I am pretty good in my own, but that's a bit of an issue. That's, that's a, definitely a, a con, you know, pros and cons. That's definitely a con goes against here. Right now, a positive treats. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say treats. Like, so, um, British supermarkets everywhere, like proper big British supermarkets. I found a can of them now. So you can get anything you want from home, which is great because again, when I've traveled across Central Europe and ran down, I'm a really fussy eater. I couldn't get anything, but I knew I ended up eating the same sort of food all the time, you know? So this is great. Um, loads of treats, stuff from home. Um, now, the British supermarkets, obviously more expensive, but surprise you how expensive they are. The one that I talked about a couple of videos ago, um, which was like, it's, it's, They've got a Tesco sign and an Asda sign and everything else, and it's all the stuff they have. A lot of stuff's double the price, so you can get treats, but not too much. You only buy the specific stuff in those that you want, but it is good to have that. If you go into my fridge now, it's no different than my fridge with lemon in all there. All right, or was that? That was a positive, a negative. Mosquitoes. I always know about mosquitoes, and you're going to get mosquitoes when you go to hot countries. Um, but I'm getting bit about once every two days now. I, get, I always get bit of mosquitoes no matter where I go. In Thailand, I get bit as well. I do go through, I think I had a couple of holidays where I didn't get bit. Um, it depends and I have to be very careful with my hotel that it isn't loads of trees and shrubs and all that sort of stuff. But I, whenever you get bit in Thailand, I get big, big, big giant, um, red, itchy, mad things. Here, they're only small. But if they're ahead, I haven't noticed one, I haven't seen one. You know, I haven't seen one on the leg and been able to slap it away. They just must be wee tiny things and they give you a wee itch. You've always got a wee itch. So that's always going to be a negative. Does anyone know? I mean, obviously mosquitoes aren't biting everybody. There must be a reason why they go to, they go to me because I'm Irish, you know what I mean? And um, will that stop? Will they, <laughs> they get bored of my flavour? I don't know. Anyway, that's a bit of a stupid one. But it's true. And I was sitting there today down at the pool and a wasp comp, and I let wasps land on me like wasps. Um, I have no problem with it. Wasps never ever sting you. Like, I haven't been stung twice in my life. One was, um, I was in, driving down a road on my bicycle when I was about 14 or 15, and mouth opened, <laughs> and either a wasp or a bee went into my mouth, and I got stung. I don't blame it. Like, I had a stung me. It's like getting into the mouth of a, a whale. <laughs> if you, you'd sting at your shop if you could. And the only other time I was ever stung was I got stung in the leg because my girlfriend who I was with seen the wasp and looking at it, no problem. She decided to save me <laughs> and swept and I got stung. But yeah, so mosquitoes, you, you can't see and you can't do anything about them. I've now bought stuff called DEET and it's supposed to keep them away. I started using it today and right now I haven't had any bites today, but it's got a powerful smell of it. Flies are a bit annoying. You get, I think that's because I have dogs and the dogs do their poos and then the fly, you know what flies are like? A fly lands in your leg and you wipe it away and it lands in the same place and you wipe it away. I can't understand flies. They must have like a homing, a homing signal. But yeah, where did it go with that? Yeah, that was off on a tangent. Next, so that was a negative. Now another positive, another pro. The weather. 
So this experiment me saying do, do I like the heat, can I stick in it? And I've been here two months. I've never been in the heat for two months before. Um, when you go to Thailand, Thailand's just warm all the time, super hot. If you look at if anybody that lifts their, their their phone now and has a look at the temperature right now, no matter what time it is, in Pattaya, it will be 30 or 31 degrees because it never changes. But the fields like temperatures are way up at four, in the 40s sometimes because of the humidity. It's basically there's water in the air and it's getting boiled and you're small. So it feels far hotter. Here when it's when it's 30, which is most days, it's it's that sun 30 type of heat that you normally heat that you get. But I was worried long term, you know that whenever you go on holidays, you get off the plane, you get the big burst of heat in your face. Um, in Thailand you would get that up in the room of your hotel door that hits you like that and on a holiday you put you're, you have no problem with that you put up with it you know it's okay it's, oh, it's the sun but whenever you're, you know you're not at home and you're going to stay i was quite worried about that and first two three weeks yeah it was, you know you noticed that every time you went outside hot 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 and but what i've now found it's gradually disappearing it's, i'm getting not disappearing and still feel it all the time but i'm getting really really getting used to it the last two nights, I haven't turned the air conditioning on. What I do is I keep the air conditioning on before I go to bed. I turn it off, I go in. Usually about an hour later, I'll wake up roasting hot, turn it on for a while, whatever. But the last two nights, that hasn't happened. I didn't know if I would be able to adjust okay to, or anybody to, to that sort of heat. Um, I'm not, I like the good weather and all, but I'm not definitely not a sun worshipper or anything like that. But I'm getting used to it and um, getting more pleasant. And I've also noticed in the mornings now, and in the evenings, it's a lot cooler. Um, I've said in a couple of videos, if you in the shade, you get a bit of breeze. In the mornings and evenings, you get that all the time. So the weather's been lovely. But again, that doesn't, I would, this is, the, the, the test was a bit like this, so that, the tie on, but that's not really the case because you don't get that relief with evenings and, and, and mornings. It's just hot all the time. Um, right, but that makes sense. I hope that made sense. Right, next. And this is going back to another complaint that I had whenever I was traveling through Europe in a motor home. And that is, I hate, this is a difficult one because I hate to say it, I've found Spanish people to be nice people and everything else. But when you're walking down a street or you're sitting somewhere and somebody was passed, nobody would smile at you, nobody would acknowledge you. And I can't help myself sometimes to do it. And they give you direct eye contact and you just see, and you, and you smile and you just turn their heads and walk on. And I don't like that. I just don't like it. It's a European thing, obviously. Um, the only case I didn't find that happened was in France. France was just normal. You'd smile at people, smile back. So I'm struggling with that because it also means that, that you're more reluctant to get into conversations with people. You know, you're, 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 you're less likely to, well, the opportunity is not going to be there to talk to people as much because of that. So, um, I don't think I'll ever get used to that. In Thailand, you don't get that. The friend that cuts the land, the smiles. I'm talking about Thailand, a terrible lot. Hasn't really been in my head, but since I wasn't doing this video, it's there. That probably means something, you know. Anyway, right next. So that was another positive. What was that? No, that was a negative. So now another positive. No, we'll do an in between. There's a few in between here. Cost of living. Um, it's very strange. Um, if you go for a meal, Maybe this is the way it's always been and I wasn't aware of it, but if you go for a meal at a restaurant, here, it's very cheap compared to the UK. Very, very, in Ireland, very cheap, um, very, very reasonable priced. Uh, if you get a cup of cola in a bar, it's maybe half the price we would pay at home. But then you go into a supermarket, and I think the supermarkets are more expensive. Uh, I'm not a great one with the cost of stuff and how much this costs at home and, um, and that, but I find the stuff quite expensive. You know, I'm paying two euro for a, a liter of milk. I don't know how dear that is, but it seems quite expensive. So that's caught me by surprise. But as I say, eating out, and it's encouraged me to eat out more than I normally would, I suppose, because you're, you're, you're getting names very, very reasonably priced. Next, another good one. Again, to do with the apartment. So there, the apartment, talk about the pool. Now, the car park in here is on the ground, and it's brilliant because it's a tightest car park I've ever seen. No doubt some people couldn't park the car. I mean, there's times I've nearly not managed to get out. But because it's on the ground, it's really, really cool. So it's really good for the car. You know, whenever you get into the car to go anywhere, 
it's not boiling hot and that would put me off sometimes if my car was sitting out in the street it was boiling hot you think can't be bothered with that but you go down in this nation and then as soon as you start driving then your air conditioning kicks in so there you go so that's just a few of my thoughts don't know how much sense any of that made but i thought i would tell you how i'm feeling um if i was to give everything a spin a score of how i'm feeling at the minute um um how, how do you do that um i'm enjoying myself and I'm enjoying relaxing and I'm enjoying being chilled out and not having any time skills for anything. If I don't feel like getting off the chair and watching TV, I can do it. But I think that's gonna catch up with me. I do think I'm gonna to get to the point where I'm bored and I'm looking for something more. Um, and I don't know what that's gonna involve. I'm gonna take time, let myself settle in more and more and more and more and see how life takes me, how my brain takes me. But if I got border and border and border here, by the end of this year, I, I'd probably be, want to be away. So we'll have to so have to take it as it comes. Things haven't worked out. You know, grass is always greener on the other side. I did the van, I'm doing this, and I don't, I just haven't really made up my mind exactly what I want, but that's what this is about. I'm learning, and I'm not going to jump in. I do have a habit of jumping into things and, and, and making decisions too quick. So 100% to say that I'm not doing that here. I'm very content, enjoying life, enjoying doing this, but at the minute of no real purpose and I'm not somebody to go and look for a purpose. It has to happen naturally. It's just the way I am, you know. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it off there. So a bit of a strange video, not the same as my usual. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.